This video is going to give you a short introduction to Checkpoint WebCheck and demonstrate how its virtualization engine protects from known and unknown web threats. WebCheck is comprised of three main components. The first is a browser virtualization engine that isolates and protects users from drive-by malware. The second is an anti-phishing feature that provides both signature-based and heuristic detection of phishing sites. The third component is a site status check feature that warns users when they enter potentially dangerous websites. Today, I'm going to focus on one component of WebCheck, the virtualization engine. So how does the WebCheck virtualization engine work? What WebCheck does is intercept and sandbox all web browser originating file and registry operations into a virtualized duplicate file system and registry. WebCheck also hooks NT kernel calls and determines whether or not the call was user initiated or automated. All user solicited calls pass through to the native kernel call. Unsolicited calls are redirected to the virtualized environment. So from a high level, WebCheck will ensure that malware that's delivered through a browser can't actually touch a PC. I'll start my demonstration by showing what happens to a PC when a user unknowingly visits a drive-by download website. We'll take a close look at what sort of damage is silently inflicted on a user's PC as a result of the drive-by site. I'll then visit that same drive-by site a second time and the only difference will be that I will have WebCheck installed and protecting the PC. We'll then be able to clearly see that WebCheck prevents that same drive-by download from making it onto the PC. So let's get started by visiting that malicious website and seeing what happens to a PC that's not protected by WebCheck. This particular website is using a zero-day PDF exploit that a signature-based AV or anti-malware product would not yet be able to detect. So this website is actually attempting to display what would normally seem to be safe, and that's a PDF file. But this PDF file is actually a malicious PDF that's been crafted to crash Adobe Acrobat Reader and deliver malware. The important thing to understand is that the user really had no idea that the PDF is dangerous or that they have been hacked. As far as the user sees, it all happens without much fanfare. Behind the scenes, it's a different story. So the malware delivery has happened, and we're going to see next that there are a number of new, unsolicited processes starting on this system. The items that are lighting up in green are new processes, and they're silently being started up by the malware as it takes control of the system. We can see all kinds of new processes starting. So clearly, this is a nasty piece of malware that's gone out to the internet and downloaded many components, and it's launching them all. So to actually get a better idea of the extent of the damage this malware has caused, we're looking at a system change report. The system change report shows that numerous malicious files have been downloaded onto the system. You can see here this ATI64SI, calc.ifo, services.exe, and you can also see a registry entry that's actually changed the behavior of the Windows firewall. The malware has also installed a fake services.exe and it's set it up to start the next time the system boots. Also, some other files have been set to auto launch at logon. And a particularly nasty remnant of this malware is this ATI64SI rootkit, which is masquerading as a graphics driver. So let's go to the same website again, but this time let's turn on Checkpoint Web Check and see what happens. I want you to notice that we are visiting the same website as before and that we are getting hit by the same PDF exploit. The WebCheck virtualization engine is going to protect the PC from this drive by malware by redirecting unsolicited kernel calls along with file and registry changes into a virtualized sandbox. Notice that as we look at the process list, now that we have WebCheck enabled, none of the applications that the malware attempted to previously download and launch are making it onto the system. And you can also see in the system change report that all the file and registry changes that we saw in the previous system change report are gone. All we see are temporary files from WebCheck. It's just that simple. WebCheck prevents the drive-by malware from ever touching the PC. So what have we seen in this demonstration? 
First, we've seen a live demonstration of a drive-by download and witnessed firsthand the extent of damage this sort of thing can silently and unknowingly inflict upon a user's PC. Finally, we've seen how WebCheck's virtualization engine provides a seamless and transparent protection against this same drive-by download and prevents it from damaging our machine. If you would like to learn more about Checkpoint WebCheck, please visit the Checkpoint software website at www.checkpoint.com.